Hey everybody, welcome back to I Heart Board Games for our live stream of Charterstone. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're going to be playing game number two of 12. Uh, I'm Ronald. I'm Travis. I'm Melissa. I'm Jesse. And if you caught us on International Tabletop, ta tabletop Day, that was our first playthrough of the first game. Should have done some tongue twisters before we started. Yeah. Uh, on International Tabletop Day, we started the game, and we've only finished that one, so beware, there will be spoilers ahead. Um, we're not going to be teaching you how to play, but if you go back to that video, technically you can learn how to play this game. Yeah. <laughs> we Don't did. start on month two, that's a silly thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I actually I already rolled the charter stone to see who would go first, and just by chance, it's Travis again. Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> the only thing that's going right for Are me we is calling for a reroll? <laughs> no, I saw it. I okay. So. <laughs> I saw it. We I didn't bribe him. So we do have a couple of new things in this one. We have our guidepost here, which is telling us to collect coins and resources. Uh, we can go over the three objectives. Two of them are the same as last time, which is have three influence markers, have all of the resources. And then the new one is have at least two assistant cards from over here. Mm. We also named our town since last time. Yes, we took all of you guys' input. 100% <laughs> of your suggestions were considered. We only gave them like a day. So my town was lovingly named by everyone as Mickey D's. Well, no, 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 not by everyone, by the losers. Yes, Me by, and Jesse. by the people <laughs> who did not win. That's right. Yes, you got Mickey D's and I am Hedgeville. I also named my neighbor, uh, the pumpkin patch is Skeletonia. Scary. Yes, but it doesn't have any ghosts. <laughs> right. Only one ghost down here. So what about you, Clay? What, what are you? I live in awesome town. <laughs> yeah, you where do. the most awesome buildings are. Awesome. And of course, I'm next, fill, next door to uh, Shelbyville. Ugh. I noticed there's the a little sad best. face next to it. <laughs> <laughs> no one likes Shelby. Though. That was graffiti from the town, from the awesome town. Yeah. Some kids from awesome town came over and like put graffiti on the sign. And we have the town with no name. Hashtag so not sponsored. <laughs> Ironically, the one called Mine belongs to no one. Get it? Yeah, mine? It's true. It's mine. Mine? A mine! I'm going to say it every time this game, too. <laughs> so I wanted to point out, we do have new assistants this game. If you're curious as to what they do, there's always the art that can help you find that out. So, for example, when you use the Zeppelin, you get two victory points. When you mm. use the Grandstand, you get to put something mm. on the get reputation track. So even from over there, you can tell what they do. Um, this one's if, when you get advanced the progress marker, if you were oh, wondering what that symbol fancy means. Pants. And do our assistants okay, okay. use from game to game, or are you using this game and then they're going uh, away? Well, according to our capacity, you can keep one assistant okay. from game to game, unless yep. you increase, unless you increase capacity. your capacity. All right. Mm -hmm. At this point. Gotcha. And they do have to be different types. If you like have more than one, they have to be different ones. Gotcha. I wonder how you increase your capacity. Well, one way you can do that is right here, by getting oh. glory. Oh. Eternal glory awaits. That's a long ways away. <laughs> <laughs> But don't forget, you get a star for every 10 points that you make in the game. Plus, you can get more glory uh, by doing the guidepost. Cool. Okay, so we're ready to start, I think. Let's do it. Yep. Um, cool. Well, nice things are happening. We have all kinds of new buildings. I know, I'm looking to see, like, I guess I'm just going to start uh, over here in Hedgeville and get a wood, please. There you go. I'm still thrown off by the fact that one of these is big and one of these is little. I'm sure it will become important later. later. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ronald. Um, I'm going to go to the market and send away some clay and a dollar to get an assistant. Um, I'll take this assistant right here. Oh, and everyone chose a persona for this game. I don't know if we want to go over what our abilities are. Most of them are probably the same. If I use a building that has a grain cost, I get a victory point. Mine's for coal, yours is for metal. Metal. Uh, I actually got it, took uh, the one that for buildings constructed this game, the first time you use them, gain four victory points. Hmm. Wow. Cool. If I manage to build anything this time. All right. So I'm going to go to. 
the K for metal. That gives me one victory point for my prospector. Oh, sweet. So one victory point for blue. One for blue. Uh, wait a minute. And Hold first on a blue, second. Right? Uh, that doesn't have a cost, that's a cost of metal. That's, something that's you get that's one metal. You gain metal. Cost is on the left. Oh, so I gotta go to this one to get this thing. Correct. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well. No victory points for you. No. Not yet. Not, Give her a minute. Not till, not till next <laughs> Man, purchase. she's trying to like conquer that lead early on. Hmm. Clay. I guess the ghost is going to come out. I mean, they're <gasps> not to, right? I'm scared. Go to Skeletonia. This ghost just keeps coming back and again and again. Why would it do that? Um. You know what? Not yet. Can you get pumpkin? Oh, you want a pumpkin for your ghost? You got a whole Halloween town yeah. going over there. Yeah. Skeletonia. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to go to Clay Pit, please. Oh. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, go here to the grain market. Pay one grain, which gets me one victory point, please. And I get a buck, and I get to put this on the reputation track. It's exciting. These to get the crates, you gotta go to the charter stone. Yep, yeah, that's right. Stone. Okay, so do I? I have enough for that. So you have four bucks. One, one. No, oh, I'm sorry. Not, yeah, four bucks. You have three dollars. Not until I go here. I gotta go to this place first, so I can get a victory point. Turn in one of these. Mm -hmm. And it gives me two bucks. Yep. Jesse, I'm seeing a theme recurring. Yeah, us not winning again. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You two are in the lead, Jesse and I are yeah. behind. Oh, We're trailing so by far behind. one whole point. That's how I lost the game last time, by one point. Right here, back to the mine. Bringing my people home. So, bringing my people home. Bringing them home. My ghost <gasps> is going out. He can only go into your area. Maybe. True. Let's go to Clay Pit. I just saw you looking like everywhere. I'm like, well. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. I was looking at uh, one wood, please. Well, now it says there when you place a ghost, something. What does it uh, say? Whenever your, whenever you place a ghost or an opponent uses your ghost's building, you may gain one reputation. Oh, you may. So, would you like yeah. to? What the heck? I hear people like those things. Uh, can I have a wood, please? Sure. Thank you. Um. What do I do with this stupid pumpkin? Nothing. I'm going here to get metal. You're pumped. Oh no! <gasps> lucky. I need metal. Yeah, lucky indeed. I have no choice but to bring your people bring home. Back. I'd like a pumpkin, please. Pumpkin, pumpkin. I'm gonna go here to the iron market, sell the metal for two bucks. And now I have enough money to the treasure stone. All right, two of your influence markers. Two influence. Four bucks. Four bucks. What's our new uh, objective over there? I was looking uh, at place have two at least two assistants. Four bucks. Oh. This okay. one, please. Number 40, so correct? The assistants. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, come over and look. Jess they, is cheating! Did you hear when I was telling you that the art tells you what they do? Yeah, but I was okay. also doing computer stuff. That's how I feel, be looking across the table. I'm like, what's happening what was on the side of the country? Like, okay, I there's a whole bunch of stuff you need to take out of there, Melissa. <gasps> okay, we're... 33, 34... 33? What did you say? You're going to remain engaged with the game the entire time? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I'm Team Groot in Infinity War right now. Wait, I don't there know is what no that means. I'm just using this opportunity to advertise. <laughs> There's no 3334. 309? Well done. Okie dokie. What happened? What did I miss while I was reading? Nothing. I got you're winning, crating. Melissa. You're crating, I see. So far I've been gypped. Hmm. Okay, there's a 309. Mm -hmm. 310. Robot. We need tech box four. 
Huck Fox score. 310, divide uh -huh. and conquer. 103, 311. Three eleven. There's a person, an inventor. Okay. That's it. So the reason three, three, and thirty-four didn't come out is because they already came out uh, yesterday. Whenever Jesse did this on the international tap a tap a tap a tap a tap a tap. That's the one. So this so, goes into the. What are those? Yes, you opened the box. Robots? So this goes into the archive. I'm an archivist. Okay, you are going to gain a robot immediately, Melissa, because yeah, you're the one that did this. Whenever Ooh. you place a robot or an advan an opponent uses your robot's building, gain one advancement card. Ooh. Like that. Okay, so you've got your robot. Okay, this is a new objective. This is going to get mixed into here, but I don't exactly know how yet. i got to look that up. That's for you. That's a building you can build. And this goes into your box for next time. Whenever you retrieve workers, gain two PPH on oh, But it's at least two robots. And then you're also going to gain your five victory points for blue. And proceed this forward one step. Hmm. Well, then. Oh, please don't please. All right, Jesse, what are you doing? Not that. Um, Not all that. I think I read somewhere that if a new one of these comes in, you just shuffle it into this stack. Makes sense to me. Sure. Oh, um, I mean, it's not. There's not a way for us to get rid of them during this game. So. Right. All right. Um, here we go. I need money. So I'm gonna go get money. Two dollars, please. Money. Calling my people home. Two monies. Um. I'm gonna go to the market. Where's that objective? That and that. I mean, other people can do it. Yes. But he also has to go to the grandstand first. Huh. Interesting. I'll take this one. Ah, that's the guy I was looking at. So this robot can go out? Mm hmm Into your area only. Okay. So I got And he has to go onto an unoccupied space. So I gotta call my people back. Because that can't happen. Really? Hmm. Um, I feel like that weird. What's weird about it? Can you ha and isn't that the assistant pile? These are actually just called advancement cards. Uh, some of them are assistants and some of them are not. Gotcha. I think I'll turn to you. Would you like some wheat? That's the one. Wheat. <laughs> Take my people back. Wood, please. Sending out the ghost for taking people back. Take people back. All right. <clears throat> uh, going to the market. All right. Market. Uh, have a have a dollar and a resource. I'm gonna take this dude. Here. Oh. Hi, new assistant. Um, I'm gonna go to the cave. Get metal. Occupied. What happened? Should may have wanted to put a robot there or something. I don't know. Maybe not. Shelbyville robot. <laughs> She's the only one who's got one. Yeah, I'm torn between the refinery and the smithy. Because I can build either one. If you build the smithy, you can get more robots. The refinery, this is a 
one of these. Oh, it takes that to get this? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't want to build that. No, not right now. I'm building the smithy. So you have to send a worker, worker. to the Zeppelin. Oh, yeah. Spend three of your influence tokens. I forgot to gain a victory point off of my coal cost thing. With the two dollars. Anybody gets that? You used a place that had a coal cost? That one. Oh, there you go. Three bucks. Later, Travis. So these three up there. I'm alone in the <laughs> end. Put those three up there. The four resources that it calls for. These two. Wood and coal. Okay. And then, and then stick, stick it somewhere in your area. And we need to give her five points, please. And we're going to proceed this forward, which grants you one on the reputation. Melissa has clearly figured out this game. Mm -hmm. Melissa's like owning all of us. Find a new home in Shelbyville. Ooh, I'm going to put the smithy by the iron market and all this. I wonder what mine's going to be a scarecrow? Well, what's mine going to be? Like Groot? <laughs> Pretty much. It could be a witch. It could be witches. Smith and Iron Man. That like looks like canine to me. And Smith. Ah, <laughs> I see what you're doing there. Up and Ronald. <gasps> you got Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mm, I'm calling I'm my people home. Because I can open this crate. Later. I called my people home. Ronald. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna go to the smithy. <gasps> the smithy. Here's two dollars. I'll have one point, please, and a robot. <gasps> I don't have any iron for this, so I have to call my people home. Sean, but... Come in my place. Wood. He has all of them! Zeppelin, please. <coughs> Here's three influence markers. Okay. Here's the appropriate resources to build my lumber mill. Um, so, I get... Five points for building it, plus two for my assistant engineer for using the Zeppelin, so I go up to seven. Bye, Jesse. Goodbye. And that moves us forward. Let me guess, nothing, because I know. That's right. Yeah. Lumber mill! Lumber mill, lumber mill. Does whatever a lumber mill does. I'm going to send my robot into the field. Bleep, bleep, bleep. And when that happens, bleep, bleep, bleep. I gain one advancement card. So I'm going to take this one. So that's the last one to come out. So does that mean that's the last one to come out? Yep, they're limited. Okay. Oh, those dudes. You people you still have advancement area. cards. You can bump me if you want. No, I gotta bump this one. I'll do oh. it. I like being bumped. Getting this. metal is popular today. I'm going to the hoist house. One of these. I get this and a coin. And I gotta put one of these on the reputation thing since I used a ghost. Coin, please. Coin. There you are. Thank you. I'm gonna go to the lumber mill that I just built. Spent a marker, get two wood, and because I'm a decorator now, buildings I constructed this game, the first time you use them, gain four victory points. Nice. So you're up to 11. Uh oh, someone else figured out this game. Yeah, Work that's all. I, that's as far as I got. <laughs> My strategy uh -oh. stops right there. <laughs> mm. uh... Send this to here. I just used a building that had a grain cost, so that gets me one victory point, please. Mm -hmm. I get a buck, and I get to put one marker on the advancement list. And this says every time you place a token on the reputation track, gain a victory point. So one more, please. That's it. Must be nice. All right, my little robot is gonna go here. There's the metal. I get two bucks, and I go up one victory point from my prospector. 
you guys and your victory points. I didn't know that was the goal of this game. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'll uh, head over to the grandstand. Did you just put this here? Mm -hmm. Did you get an advancement card? A grandstand person oh, I didn't get. I what got my point. Whenever you go to the grand, you game. Wait, she attention. should have taken one of these before you oh. look at that. Oh, I don't even get to look at it. <laughs> I mean, you can look at it, but I mean, just don't get your hopes up. She might take the one you want again. Oh, it's true. Was I supposed to get this victory point? Because was my robot one here? Is that still yeah. valid? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Which one? Should charter I get? stone. Using the charter stone gets you points. Using the grandstand gets you reputation. Using the treasury gets you one of your markers back. Ooh. Using the market gets you reputation, or using the cloud port gains victory points. Ooh, I'm going here. Yeah, seems pretty good. Okay. Now proceed. <laughs> okay. Don't want to wait and get a reputation out of that. Not really. But I kind of do. Let's see. It's a cute design. What the heck? I'm going to the market. You want the grandstand girl? Yes. yes. No, wait. Oh, okay. Yeah. Excuse me. I'm like, I, I thought you went to the grandstand. <laughs> I want to make the grandstand better before I go there. I was like, wait, what just happened? Something's wrong. Uh, calling my people home. I'm like just befuddled today. Sorry. Thank you. Taking my people back. <coughs> Tell me more about this my final person. thing. Who gets that again? Whoever has the most coins and resources. Ah, well, that's not well, no. grand total. That person's going to go to the treasury. Okay. And I'm going to turn in this pocket. And get a buck. And get this, and I get one of my one of your little things back. back. That's a good combo. Yay! Let's call back the red people. I'm going to go here, spend a wood, get a buck, and a reputation. I'm in the game. That's all it takes. Mm -hmm. Apparently. My little robot's coming out, which means I get a card. Um, I'll take this one. So many assistants. Yeah, well, so many assistants. Gosh. I need assistance. What do you want from me? He wants no one else. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa. I gotta call my people back. Jazzy? And those assistants are drying up. Um, well, I see a boat for something over cloud there. Port. The market the market. Or the cloud port. She's worth victory points. She's worth reputation. The cloud port. Oh boy. Um, let's go with the uh, cloud port lady. Coin and a something. What's that lonely last one? Get out of the market! Oh, you're being bumped. Uh, coin and resource. Doesn't matter what it is, oh, does it? It's, it's gone! They were going so fast, I had to jump on it. Same. I'm going to the grandstand. That's gonna be a popular place. Right. Same. Yes. And I get uh, five victory points, please. And we advance this. Hmm. All right, I'm going to the Charter Stone. Oh, again. Got four bucks. And two of your reputation markers. She's running low on those. Mm-hmm. And what are you opening? Um, oh, 44. Okay, 36, 37. We need tuck box I, which is one, I mean. So it's 36, 37? Mm-hmm. There's 37. Uh-oh. 36. One of those things again. Uh, 104, 312. 
You can no longer ignore the problems that threaten your village. Luckily, you have the skill to save the village. <coughs> setup. This is during the setup of the game. Sure. Um, there you place go. one peril token at random on all buildings in charters. Gain peril. When you use a building with a peril token on it, you gain the benefit. You must also gain the peril token. This is a good thing. Peril buildings. Some buildings have a specific type of peril token as the cost. Some buildings have a specific type of peril token as the cost. To pay the cost, discard those tokens to the general supply. End of game. Clear the board of remaining tokens and return all peril tokens to the general supply. There's red, which is bandits. Black is fuel shortage. Blue is disrepair. Green is vermin. Pink is blight. And yellow is famine. There's six of each. But they're good. I don't really understand. Somehow. Peril quota. Put this, this sticker to the five columns instead of six to the bottom of the quota track on the game board. All 36 peril tokens should be removed from tuck box I and used during setup of the next game. Place this card in the archive. Okay, so we got another one of these. And this goes in archive too. Looks like it's gonna follow the same pattern. This goes to the archive, sir. Thank you. And then I have this mechanic go for next time. Yeah. And I have a new building I can build. The repair shop. Two of, these, two of these square things get you get you four victory points. Oh, okay. If if and when I build it. Approaching in on Awesome Town there. A little bit. I'm okay. guessing there won't be any more of those. Oh, Stickerville. <laughs> Stickerville. Yes. <laughs> You're out in the sticks. Yeah. So, Melissa, you did your box, which should mm -hmm. precede that, and also grant you five points. Five points. So you're at 17. Cool. Hmm. Jazzy? Now the incentive is to go to the grandstand. This. I'm being bumped. Cost me one of these. I get five points. Oh, give me that. What triggers the end of the game again? You're putting it on which this one? Goes around to the oh, I'm sorry. Here. The uh, handshake, this, this thing. Yeah. And I get one reputation when I use the grandstand. And this thing goes up, which gives me another reputation. Well, someone's on the reputation track. And did you get five points? Yes, I did. From the grandstand. <clears throat> oh, okay. Call my people home. I'm uh, going to the iron market. Get two bucks. My robot's going to the cave to get metal. Going to the clay pit to get clay. Hey. You killed your robot. Going. <gasps> it's okay, you have a repair shop. Going to the lumber mill, spending one of these yet. to get two. You have the idea of a Coming repair next shop. week. <laughs> repair shop. The idea of one. Yes. As I say in the seventh continent. Um, I don't know if they say that. You say that's that. what I say. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the, the grain idea. market, oh, which means I'm using grain as a cost for something. So I get a victory point, please. I get a buck, and I get to go up here. All that money. It's a little bit of money. And every time I place a token on the reputation track, gain one victory point. Jesus. See, that's why I wanted that guy, because I was planning yeah. on going wild on that. Melissa. Boop. I'm being bumped again. The green. Uh, that doesn't... That's not what that is. Oh. So that would be so you need to pay some grain. <laughs> so you want to come here then? Yes, grain. Ah, well, whenever you yeah, place your opponent on the robot building, I would cards. gain a card. <laughs> But he was sitting there ready, just in case. Just in case. He's like, intercept, intercept. <laughs> Where's, uh, where are the Now cards? there's an assistant here. Okay. He was hiding inside of my metal coverings. I'm bumping myself <laughs> at the grandstand. I bump myself. Stop. When I play the charter stone. Uh, let's go for the... This one? Oh, or this one. Yeah, closer to me. So uh, it gives me an extra rep. And five points. 
Two eleven. Come join us. All right. I moved to that forward. I right. didn't want to do this, but I gotta bump Jesse. Well, I was gonna bump myself again anyway. <laughs> Good. Then you can bump me later. Uh, Goes on to the one you're doing. I'm doing. I've got two assistants. Great. Um, so you get five points. Five points, please. <laughs> Still can't catch up with Melissa. No one can. I won't do anything this turn. Taking my people back. Yep, I gotta take my people back. <laughs> I don't know if I want to bump you now. It'll still be there. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, I know, but he's gonna be true. forced to pick up now. Yeah, that's. So true. I'm going to the mine. Yeah, I so that's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> you don't need to bump him. You can go there anytime. True. Yeah. Exactly. I got my people home. Okay, I am going to the Charter Stone. Finally. <laughs> here's two of these. And here's the four bucks I so lovingly saved. I need to open one of these crates. Which crate? Let's open number 48. 48? Mm-hmm. Uh, 33 and 34. Oh, those are going to be missing. Yep. 332 and 333. It's 332. Oh, 332. 332. It's a chef. 333. And 118. I want some special people. Don't we all? Don't. Could you get the person out of Tuckbox 4? 118. Bakery. Oh, you're a bakery. It's a bakery. Whenever you place a chef or an opponent uses your chef's building, you may regain one influence. Mm. So you get your influence markers back. Oh, that's cool. They're the little blue ones. Who did this? You? Oh. Oh, okay. The chef. Yeah, he's a chef cooking with wheat. And now he can bacon build a bread. bakery. You probably get one. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Nice. Regain one info. So we turn. can keep the game going forever at this point. Forever. Okay. I'm sending my robot to the cave for more metal. Drazer? You're going to the grandstand. Yeah, I thought you were I'm going. guessing. No, it's going to be the last thing I do. As long as I have this stuff. You know what? May as well. <laughs> It's gonna be the last. You don't know me. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this goes into the archive. I'd love that to. One. Let's do it. Let's grandstand it up. All right. We give a grandstand. reputation. This one. And it also. Oh yeah, but this is a reputation as well. <laughs> oh, because when you go there, you get right, to go here. Right, right, right. So you're gonna five get five points. points. For that. So you're gonna be here with everybody else. This moves up. Oh, yep. it's another reputation. Oh my lord! Wow. <laughs> there is one more spot here, folks. And one of you can shut the other one out. I that's, that one that was up. unintentional. By that's the way. gonna be me. <laughs> I totally saw that go in this game. It's like that's I'm not even fighting for that. You could that. I get a dollar and one no. reputation. Yeah, I kind of overdid it on that. Not one. even fighting for that. I'm only doing it to shut you out. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, you also got third. Yeah, that's... He awesome. shut her out. Yeah, exactly. basically oh, I just her out. Yeah, yeah. shut her out of four points, yeah. Cool. I'll send my chef to the field to get some wheat. I'm going to the Zeppelin. Oh, I use the Charter Stone building. I get to gain two victory points. So I get totes in the game. <laughs> so I have three of these. Don't! Yeah. So that and then I think four I will. resources. What a win. I'm building a repair shop. Jeez. I was going to say, there's no way I'll get to do all the things I want to do. What do I get to keep? And put the three up there. So now, I get to put this somewhere. I, I get resources? I get five victory no. points. No. 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 They're workers. I get five victory points, and this moves up. So in theory, you'll be keeping those, huh? I'll get to keep one. Oh, that's pretty good. That goes to the archive. The repair shop. No, it doesn't go to the archive. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. You I can still open the, the chest. Yeah. The crate, sorry. Um, well. Repair shop. 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 Repair
Photoshop. I like got so involved in the game. I'm just like, oh, game, game, game. I like forgot. Hey, yeah. <laughs> that's fine. They're here to watch a game. Done. Done. All I'm right. Yeah, we all are. Is well, I got a call back. He's gonna end the game on his next turn. I'm, I I'll could. Leave, I'll leave two. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to think what I could even possibly all. accomplish. Am I not? I don't know. Uh, There you go. Thank you. Um, I know, there's like nothing I can really accomplish. I mean... <laughs> You're all worried that I'm going to end it? No. I probably will end it. I'll go here and get some wood. I don't have anything to do necessarily, so why not? Do that. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go here. And yeah, get out of Hedgeville. I'm going to go to Cloudport. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to spend my one resource that I have to go there and get three points. Cool. Look how far behind I am. You're on the same spot as Jesse. Yeah, but he's going to jump ahead when he gets their reputation. He's going to jump ahead by 10. Everybody's running the cloud fort all of a sudden. Bump me, huh? Yep. I have this thing so I can go here, right? Is that correct? I have this thing. I have to turn him in or something? No? I said I'll I need to take once. one more point. Well, me too. When I moved this, I <laughs> had a victory point for that too. Yeah, me too. Why not? What's the problem? Hashtag. This thing. Like, I went here, so it's just to show that I have this person. Or do you have to works? turn that person in? Oh, I don't know if you have to give them back. Because I have no coins or resources right now. My robot's out here. I mean, I do have a little thingy. The it allows you well, to sell it. a commodity. Uh, can we sell people? Is that a thing we allow <laughs> here in our kingdom? Does yeah. the Forever King it seems like so endorse wrong. that? <laughs> seems like a wrong thing to do. But... Select any spokes on the quota track to determine the type and quantity of the commodity. Pay that amount to the general supply. So it actually goes into like a discard pile. Okay. So this person goes away. You don't like that person? Because you could keep them until next game, right? Yep. Yeah, but now that the Shifts out, it has, or one of those, it has like the same kind of ability. Eh, okay. So, did you do everything you're supposed to do, like oh, get three, three victory points. points? No, three victory points for me. I am also going to Cloudport. What gave you the extra point for bumped. Cloudport? When you advance the progress token, gain one victory point. What's the progress token? This. I moved it when I built the charter stone. Oh boy, that's a good one. I just forgot. All right, I'm going to uh, turn in two goods. I'm still in the lead on this, right? <laughs> I don't see anybody with more than me for the end game thing. I got three I resources. I have nothing. I she has nothing as well. <laughs> so I'm just turning in two things. Uh, let's go with coal. This coal's easy to get. Because I want the point one. So you get four points. Mm -hmm. I get four plus, that's actually, plus one. Whenever I use Cloudport, gain one victory so point. So it's five points. Five points. And that's the end, right? Game! The game is over! At the end of game two, before <laughs> any of the end of game steps, follow the guidepost rules to award glory and reveal the following options. Okay, here's what it says about guideposts. They Ooh, offer a goal for any so number of players to achieve. Off. The current guidepost is kept face up on the board. Blah, 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 blah. Going for three. At the end of the game, any player who achieved the guidepost gain one glory. So you have the most, is that correct? I have lots. I have three. I have six. I overdid it. And I have none. Wait, wasn't there something for whoever who has second most? No, the, that wrong? the tie was like whoever had the, the most of these was the tiebreaker. Mm. Okay. Among those players, the players with the most influence tokens in their personal supply reveals the options on the guidepost. 
roll the charter stone to break further ties. So, you need to scratch that off. Can we do like a TV timeout? Can we like just cut to where it's already done? You know, like in cooking shows where they like, I'm gonna put this in the thing and now it's done. And this is way easier than other games. <laughs> he means scratch, pandemic scratch. legacy. <laughs> That player will choose one of the options and open the corresponding crate. Opening the crate. Wow, that came off like silk. All right. Good design. <laughs> if you would like a bonus for all of the coins you've collected, open crate A. If you would like a bonus for all the resources you've collected, open crate B. Crate B. I thought you might make that. <laughs> All right, so what's Crate B? Oh, Crate and Barrel. It's a store. Not sponsored. After opening one crate, place this card in the archives. I'll go ahead and Ooh. make that. You just hit a shift. Okay, <laughs> 124, please. 400, that's the highest card in our archive. Actually, 124 to 127. But 124 is the first card we're going to read. Hmm. Okay, so go Wait, B? B. B. Oh, sorry, 128. 125 to 128. One day I'll learn how n numbers work. <laughs> oh look, I didn't even realize this. This lady that I bought, she's an archivist. Uh, These cards were out of order. No 123 fitting. was after 124. And at the market, if you use her, you gain reputation because archivists help with so reputation. So 125 to 128 is what we need. <laughs> Be an archivist, kids. <laughs> Those were so different. 23, 24, okay, so 25, 26, 27, 28. Okay, so it says to read 128 first. Oh, and I also need 401. 401. All right. Supporting the kingdom. Story six. The forever king is happy to hear that you want to support the Eternal City with raw resources. Uh, hold on. Yeah, we, what was that <laughs> taxation? Are mine. <laughs> Oddly, when you try to take the resources to the Eternal City, you find that there is an invisible barrier preventing you from leaving. After extracting all cards for Crate B from the index, use those cards to follow these instructions in order. Some rule cards replace older versions in the Chronicle, affix the newer rule on top. Updates on updated rule cards are highlighted with a red arrow. Red arrow. Number one, action. Each player gains one victory point per resource. Does that take affect this game or next game? What does it say? After extracting, uh, use those cards to follow these instructions in order. When we did do this before end game scoring. Okay, so what does it say? Uh, number one is action. Each player gains one victory point per resource. Okay. Uh, so. Number two, rules. Follow the instructions for end of the game, starting with step two. Add them to the chronicle along with set cards. And number three, guidepost. Read this card to all players. So, okay, so first thing is we're going to get points for having resources. resources. So that just not. applies to the two of you. So you get two, you get... Five. I get three because isn't a coin? No, that's oh, not so a resource. Two. That's a coin. So I go one, two, and Jesse, yeah. how many for you? Five. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Yes. No, he's clearly the winner. Oh! Lightning, finally. <laughs> After getting last last game. And now I'm last this game. <laughs> so um get the name something again. Now follow the instructions for the end of the game. Add them to the chronicle. Yes. This um can be added to this. You smudged your name, by the way. Error. Shh, a typical Shelbyville. <laughs> oh, no. That's I part shall of the story. Be six. <gasps> All right. End of game. Process the current guidepost card. We already did that. Each player who achieved it gains one glory. We did that. Mm -hmm. In player order, gain victory points for reputation and persona cards with that symbol on it, which none of us have those. So for reputation, Red is going to win. He's going to get 10 points, bringing him up to 36. Yeah. I'm in second place, so I'm going to get seven points, bringing me up to 29. Yeah, sucks, oh. doesn't it? It really does. Uh, third Four. place will be green. 
What's bringing that? you up to 22, being, being one point one away point from, from 30. Yeah, oh, like, oh, that's, that's where I was yeah. last time. That's one point less I'm than like four points away. Okay, now each player gains glory. So I get two. All of us get two, except Jesse. I you get, get three. three. This is the quiet moment of the game. Yeah. Okay, the winner. The winner with the player with the most victory points. This game marks this charter chest. One of these. You probably awesome. want to mark the second one to so designate jealous. that you mark the second game that you win a second. Well, game. that's a good idea. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Sense. Yeah, I like that. You can always go there's back. There's twelve. Right? There's twelve of these, so it makes sense. It makes sense. Okay, now the new rules. New rules. Non-winners. Yes. <gasps> Increase the capacity for one type of component Woo! on your charter chest. What have I got? Resources. So we can choose which one of these to increase. You don't get Oh, uh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag it was worth I hate not knowing that. I guess I'll keep <coughs> two of these assistants. Oh, wait, oh, the capacity over here. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's resources, money, assistant. What's the meeple? It's those things. Uh, you don't have any of those, so I wouldn't nope. pick that one. I only have one robot, resource. so. I have the robot and the chef, so I'm like, maybe I should do them. I'm a pickle resource. Oh, they're oh, they're called minions. Sorry. This is the catch-up mechanic. Have... Yeah. Um, I don't have can't any wait to see the mustard mechanic. Yeah. I don't have any resources on me, or money, or cards. I have one robust. <laughs> okay, if you use the persona this game, fill in the triangle mm. next to their oh, I name. I can definitely do that. Oh, that's only the non-winners. Yeah, sure. Discard. Based on your capacity, keep some components and discard the rest of the general supply. So I get rid of one of my assistants. Yeah, I'm going to lose my robot. It's, it's all right that I put this capacity, I added it to the person, but I don't have it one. But like that's for fine. Next for next time. game, you'll be able to keep more than one. Yeah, cool. Retrieve. Retrieve all your player pieces and then clear the board and the mat of all the components. So what happens when we darken in this little triangle? Uh, at the Nothing end of the campaign, oh, yeah, yeah. the Forever so. King will give you points for how many of them you've used. So we keep okay, now there's still some more uh, things here that are going to go into the thing. They're replacing other rules. Um, I think you're going out. No. Keeps anybody from coming in and fidgeting with it. So basically all this does is just helps us set up the inactive charters in every game going forward and a couple of adjustments to how the game setups goes. Otherwise, it's all the same. Cool. So we can apply these after the stream has ended. What do you guys think of game two? Uh, things are moving along. Yeah, it's chugging along. It's getting interesting. I wish I had a robot or ghost or chef. You know what? Chef. I think we did something wrong. Because you what? won? Because I ended it doesn't mean the game ends. It means this moves. Oh, yeah. We ended the game way too early. Ooh. Way too early, like four, five I just rounds that, too early. That it wasn't over. <laughs> Why didn't you tell us, audience? <laughs> uh oh. Well, I don't think there's that... any way to retcon that. No, there's no way. We've already marked all over all of this stuff. And we've and... like completely erased the board. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, we'll have to watch out for that next time. Oh, wow. There you go. One, two, and three, and I just four, noticed five, that six rounds at least. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, what, could, which would have been, yeah, pretty significant. That could have changed the entire game. Sure, but we did it wrong, and there's nothing we can do about it now. <laughs> this, flip the table. Yes. This is a lesson in. Uh, Let's flip the board. Get the games. recharge pack. Some things will go wrong. You know, that's yeah. just the way it is. I 
thought, because like, and I was like, wait, what triggers the end of the game? And I was like, I thought, no, because you can still, you can just be out of stuff. And I'm like, it's not, that I struck me as all. wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Unintentionally. Well, that was that. <laughs> so, Thanks for watching. Yeah, I wonder how things, yeah, that would have been a different game. Yeah. Not everybody would have rushed towards the sky. This cloud right, court at the end, right. and because I could have just sat there on my reputation getting other things. Yeah. Um. Wow. Shall we uh, sign off for the night then? Yeah, I guess so. If you liked seeing games have huge mistakes in the end, <laughs> you can follow us on Instagram at iHeartBoardGames or Twitter at iHeartBoardGames. You can follow us on or go, join our group on Facebook slash group slash heartboard games you know it's all up there somewhere and um email us heartboardgames at gmail.com and i know these guys have some plugs they want to throw in uh yeah i'd like to plug my instagram which is hedges pictures hedges like trim hedges pictures like take pictures and you can follow me at ronald hearts board games now some of those have eyes in them actually they don't do it yeah pictures Pictures, Pictures does. does. <laughs> there is an eye in mine. But what do we say about uh, heart board games? Remember, there's no eye in those. That's right, because there's no eye in board games. Now go hug your meeples.